What up guys, it's Jay here from TV Time with Jay and I'm back once again with another review for you guys and this time I'm here to review The Good Doctor Season 4 Episode 3 Newbies. Now as per usual with my episode reviews, I'll be recapping the events of the episode and then going over my thoughts and feels about the different plot points all throughout. So if you haven't seen the episode yet, do yourself a favor, watch the episode first, then come back here and tell me your thoughts and feels in the comments down below because I will be going to spoil territory, you have been warned. Okay, so thankfully this episode was not another like tear fest. Uh, this was a more like chill, down to earth episode, but we have the introduction of several new characters because, as the title implies, we are finally being introduced to newbies because our young residents have now moved up in the ladder and are now senior residents. So they're going to be in charge of basically their junior residents, the new people that are coming into the program. And so. Lim, being the chief of surgery, basically has these newbies shadow our, you know, current residents and just kind of see how things operate. And we kind of get to get a good feel for their kind of first impressions, their personalities and different things like that. Now, um, the main girl, I think the only girl in the uh, newbie group, she is very outspoken, impassioned. She reminds me a lot of, like, a little bit of, like, Kahlua. If you guys remember Kahlua, you know, Jared. He was very outspoken, very much, like, um, impassioned and, you know, ready to fight for things. He was the one who, like, was, went to town and, like, fought for that experimental, like, fish scale treatment for that one girl who, like, got severely injured in that massive like wedding accident uh, that was pretty crazy um remind she reminds me a lot of him uh she also got has a little bit of limbs fire as well um and andrews respects that out of her uh then we have this one you know kind of arrogant prick rich boy who's got a lot of talents he knows he's got a lot of talent he's also got a lot of money and he's handsome and he just throws it around everywhere and it's just everybody hates him he's clearly the worst and, uh, yeah, just things don't, uh, kind of look good for him. Now, uh, there is this one Hasidic Jewish kid who, you know, has given up on God after spending so much of his life in a, like, staunch religious family. And he went into medicine because he has a bit of a God complex, but not in the traditional sense. More of, like... And the fact that he, since he doesn't believe that a god is there, you know, I guess it's our job to do what he's not here to do, since he doesn't exist. And so he is kind of the most bright-eyed, bushy-tailed one. Uh, he's like, he kind of reminds me of Morgan a little bit, because he also has a bit of arrogance to him he's also very eager and you know willing to kiss ass and like you know take initiative uh definitely reminds me a lot of morgan uh speaking of morgan this episode geez morgan's like bitch levels like skyrocketed here and man there is some bresnik tension if i did not already ship them i definitely ship them now with all this you know back and forth going on and you know of course claire being like claire or Claire being like, Morgan, this is not your job. You're not a surgeon anymore. Butt out. I thought that was great. Love that back and forth. I think it's really interesting. Of course, Morgan is, you know, still having a hard time, you know, being benched and put into a different field when all she's ever wanted was to be a surgeon. She knows that's what she's good at. That's what she wants to do. So, of course, she can't help but still be a surgeon at heart. So much to the point where, like, she's actually, like, backseat surgerying while Lim and Claire are doing a major operation on a dude's heart. So that's pretty crazy. Uh, meanwhile, like, Sean kind of is being overwhelmed by this, like, new sense of responsibility at first. He introduces the group to Leah, and then that opens up some awkward stuff with Leah and her insecurities. All right, I'm going to stop this review a little bit right here, and I'm just going to say... I understand that Sean and Leah's relationship is important for Sean's character development, but my god, I hate their relationship. It's just so annoying. It really derails 
all the stuff I'm actually interested in. I could not care less about their relationship. I really don't care. I don't care at all. Like, I'm not invested in them whatsoever. Like, I'm happy for Sean. I know it's necessary for Sean, but God, do I hate it. I really hate it. Uh, you know, if you guys uh, are going to stick around for these Good Doctor reviews, get ready for a lot of this. Because I, I just do not like them. Uh, nothing has turned me around on them yet. Uh, but who knows? We'll have to wait and see. The And the character that we honestly like saw the least of was the Asian kid that's part of uh, the newbie group. And he is probably the least like outgoing. He's very soft-spoken. And uh, he, you know, wants to keep everything super professional. But uh, he also has a lot of innate talent. He notices things that even Park and Sean don't pick up on. So hopefully there's a bit of a connection for him and Sean. And maybe he and Sean can vibe uh, in that sense. Because he has a, you know, a very out-of-the-box brain, it seems like. Overall, these newbies are pretty interesting. And I cannot wait to see what happens next. And I'm interested to see, you know, what it's going to be like for, you know, Claire, Park, and Sean uh, now that they're in more of a position of authority, especially for Sean, because Sean's never really been in charge of anybody. Even if, uh, you know, it was his younger brother, right, Steve. He was the older brother, but Steve was the one looking out for him. So, like, he's never really had to look out for another person. He's always been looked out for. So it's going to be really interesting to see how he adjusts to that. And we can see that he kind of buckles under that pressure. He doesn't understand why, you know, he gets held accountable for somebody else's mistake. It's going to be really interesting to see how he adapts. It's obviously going to be a new problem. And uh, it's going to be really huge for his character development moving forward. Uh, and it's going to be interesting. Because, I mean, this will be Sean's kind of second chance to be a big brother in a way. And that's going to be really cool to see how he handles it. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this episode in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to leave this video a like to let me know you enjoyed it. These Good Doctor videos have been doing really well. They've been getting a lot of love, so I appreciate all that. But yeah, let me know all your thoughts and feels in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to leave this video a like to let me know you enjoyed it. And if you like what I do here and you want to see more from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. In the outro card, I will leave a link to a video of YouTube mysterious algorithm things you might like, as well as my review of last week's episode of The Good Doctor in case you missed that. But until next time, guys, this is Jay from TP Time with Jay. And until the next review, I'll catch you guys later because it's time for me to scrub out. Peace. <music>